to Kingdom Kids. I'm so glad you're back today to listen to some more stories. Hi, my name is Linda. I'd love to know your favorite book. Be sure to leave a comment below or email us and maybe you'll hear your favorite story read here on Kingdom Kids. The name of our story today is Daniel and His Friends. It was written by Liz Shockey. And look on the cover, you see a picture of Daniel and his three friends. And we're going to start reading our story now and we'll find out more about what happens to Daniel. Soldiers march Daniel and his friends to a faraway city called Babylon. Many of God's people would be slaves in Babylon. But God was watching over them. And look at all the people in Babylon that were the slaves. That's a lot of people, isn't it? But God was watching over them just like he watches over us every day. When they got to Babylon, the king chose Daniel and his friends to be his helpers. So they went to school in the king's palace. Every day they learned new things. And look at them sitting here at the table learning new things from their teacher. One night the king had a bad dream. He was very scared and no one could tell him what his dream meant. But God was watching over Daniel and helped him tell the king about his dream. Have you all ever had a bad dream, boys and girls? I know I have before. And sometimes it's scary to wake up, but we know that God is with us and helping us through those times. Soon the king forgot about how God had helped him. He made a tall golden statue and ordered everyone to bow down and worship the statue instead of worshiping God. And we know we're not supposed to worship God. Anything but God. God is the only thing that we worship. Daniel's friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, wouldn't bow down to the king's statue. They knew it was wrong to bow down to such a statue. So he threw them into a fiery furnace. Look at them over here in the furnace. Look at the flames coming up around them. They have to be scared. But God sent an angel to watch over them there, too. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego weren't even burned. Look at them, boys and girls. They look fine, don't they? Nobody could believe it. The king knew God had taken care of them. He ordered everyone to worship God from that day on. And today we worship only God too, don't we? We know that He takes care of us and is looking after us every day, just like He was for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Now it's time, boys and girls, for us to do our popcorn prayer. I'm very excited for you to join with us in this. I'll give you a minute to think about what you'd like to pray for. But remember, you can just say to God whatever's on your heart. He wants to hear what you're thinking and you're feeling. After we do our popcorn prayer, please join us in the Lord's Prayer. It'll be on the screen for you if you need some help. But remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Let's bow our heads now and fold our hands. Dear God, I would like to pray today for all of the teachers that we are missing so much and looking forward to seeing again very soon. Ms. Shelley, would you like to pray next? Yes, I'm going to pray for all the pets and all the times that we enjoy and play with them. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts 
as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I hope you enjoyed watching and listening to our story today about Daniel and his friends. And I hope you'll come back next week for another Bible story. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow us.